my middle school, on 14th and Adeline, waiting in a concrete sea of decay, a central pivot between two liquor stores that witness more dead bodies than a funeral home and create more walking cadavers than a zombie apocalypse, two stationary assassins gunning for the preteens caught in the crosshairs. My classmates and I were all unintentionally killing ourselves at 13. Targets, guzzling down a soda while walking past wheelchair amputees and crack addicts because we weren't aware of our own bodies collapsing after the sweet, euphoric sting leapt from our tongue. When I went to the liquor store, I always gravitated toward the orange soda. Kel's words rattling in my subconscious. Who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange, orange soda. soda. Is, Is it, it true? I do, I do, I do. I do. I do. Not knowing what I was swallowing. A toxic solution of high fructose corn syrup, caffeine, and artificial orange flavors slowly decomposing my body from the inside out. Not so appealing when you break it down in my city. 44% of children drink one or more sodas a day, adding one or more pounds a month, sending us hurtling towards hospital beds and cemeteries. Who really likes orange soda? Insurance companies, the American Beverage Association, hospitals and mortuaries, swelling their pockets on the rapidly rising diabetes rates. Tasty poisons are misleading because we all want to trust gullible taste buds, but look behind the facade. Sugary drinks are the leading cause in diabetes. Sodas killed more colored people than Jim Crow, drowning us in corrosive pools of sugar water. Soda companies reaping the profits of our addiction, pushing bottles like weight on corners. I've seen fiends from East Oakland to the mission, ingesting carbonated poison. It's no coincidence that over 40% of black and Latino youth will get type 2 diabetes in their lifetime. It's strategy, a minority hunt, with liquor stores for hitmen and sugar for bullets. Aim for the sweet spot. <laughs>